driver mode, which is what most people are used to as tour, sport, track, and weather. Um, my mode and Z mode are actually just two additional modes. And we look at different use cases that people would want to optimize the vehicle for. Tour, we look at it as a balanced mode that's good at everything. Sport is a little bit more catered toward the spirited driving. Track is all about the response and how the vehicle handles around maximum cornering, maximum acceleration, and maximum driver feel of the road. Tour, sport, track, weather, they're all preset. What my mode and Z mode will allow you to do is for the driver to configure it themselves. So if they prefer different steering, different suspension, matched together or matched differently, then they can do that in my mode and Z mode. We allow it to key up in my mode so the driver can personalize their vehicles. And then they'll have it turned on every time they turn on the car. The design intent of Z mode is for a single use case. You could set up Z mode for that curvy road that you go on every day on the way to work. Click on Z mode, do your curvy road, and then go back to my mode and that's your day. This is definitely a video that you will need to watch all the way through. I'm telling you, there's a lot of great information here that I got from Chevrolet that I interviewed them exclusively, but at the end of this video, I have a big surprise for you. Um, so definitely look forward to that. Welcome back, everyone. If this is your first time stopping by, well, my name is Clarence. I don't want to thank you for pushing that play button. If you are new to the channel, definitely feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you part of the community. This is an awesome video to watch because I actually had an exclusive interview with one of the engineers of the C8 Management Corvette out in California, and he explains a lot of things that he did not explain during the unveiling of the C8 Management Corvette, and definitely some things in this video you would like to hear um, him explain regarding why they decided to go this route why they didn't put vertical doors on a car, and who they're trying to cater to when they actually built the C8 Mission Corvette. So once again, I hope you enjoyed this interview, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, then what are you waiting on? Go ahead and smash that subscribe button. So you work for Chevrolet? I do. Okay. With Taj, so. Really? How long have you been working with Taj? Oh, it's probably five years. Nice. Yeah. So you enjoy it? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. So the passion for that team is so. Okay. So are you part of designing the car? Uh, engineering it. Okay. The design team who sculpts it and makes it look beautiful and we package it and nice. integrate it. So. Nice. Absolutely. Nice, nice, nice. So what are some things you can tell me about this car do you think is special? This whole, this whole car is just a transformation for us and so for GM it's just such a departure from uh, where our comfort zone on Corvette has always been. I agree. And when you talk about trying to not alienate current Corvette customers and yet pick up a youthful and also a better car, Okay. we had a, quite a challenge. And, uh, things like you just mentioned, fitting the roof in the back, Right. That, that also fits two sets of golf clubs. Nice. It also fits a duffel bag up front with a full delta bag as they call it. Okay. In, in the front in the front okay um, so we haven't lost the utility but we've still offered all the performance that our exotic competitors have I agree so when you when you look at that package it, it uh, keeps the people who like to weekend their car tour their car but then take it to the track they can still do it you can okay still unpack from your trunk and then take your car out on the track which I think it's unique to Corvette and then obviously attainability with the price point absolutely especially being on the 60,000. Yeah, we, we work really hard with our partners in Bowling Green and our suppliers to, to to make this happen. So, I don't know if you can answer this question. So, if I'm looking for the same exact car, what do you think my price would be, though? This exact car? Uh, Can't be on a 60. No, no, no. no. <laughs> this car's got a lot of the uh, uh, optional content. Okay. Being Z51, these carbon fiber pieces in the back are uh, appliques that would add to the cost. Okay. You're probably... I mean, if I had to ballpark, you're over 75 for That's, this content. Absolutely. But, um, yeah, it's still right in the wheelhouse of, of, of where we are currently with, with our product. Right. So 
I don't think it'll surprise customers that will have sticker shop. Okay. And there's also just plenty of new technology for them to discover along the way. Okay. Not many exotics can offer an infotainment package like we have, which is Chevrolet, the big Chevrolet right. develops it, so you have very reliable and crisp infotainment, which is okay. great. Now, if I'm jumping the gun and saying that you probably won't be able to answer this. I'm a YouTuber, so I'm going to ask some questions. Have you guys started already possibly with the Z06, I guess, the variant of the higher trend level of this? So today is all about this car. Okay. This car is, is going to be um, exclusive in the showroom. As okay. Weighing down the front engine variant here okay. in October. So it's all about the Stingray uh, for now and the foreseeable future. Okay, so when can I get mine? When can I go ahead and get bought? Um, you can put, set up now for allocation orders. Uh, okay. The configurator is live. Okay. Uh, we expect them to be available late this year, early next year. will be in customers' hands. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. Is there anything else I need to know? I think there's, uh, until you really get to drive this car, okay. it looks really great on paper. Right. And I can tell you it's even better when you drive it. Have you driven it? Yes, I have. Okay. And I can tell you that when you come from a Grand Sport into this car, it's just, uh, and the Grand Sport's awesome. I love the Grand Sport. I got a Grand Sport so visceral part right in the front. And, you, and you're chasing down this car, and you get into this car after you've driven the Grand Sport, and it just feels incredible. That driving experience with the mid-engine layout, the view of the road. Okay. I mean, it makes you feel like you're going at an incredible rate of speed, and you just have such, just straight down to the pavement. The okay. down vision, as they call it, is what makes this feel so exotic. Okay. And we work really hard to keep everything very low so that you have that best line of sight to nice. the road. It gives you that really exotic experience. Nice. I think uh, until you drive it, and it'll be hard for a lot of people to, you know, one day get in and drive it, but when you drive it, you'll really see how good we are at integrating all these pieces. It's really okay. spectacular. So I'm trying to come work for Chevy now and then, because I, you know, I got some ideas I want to kind of throw out there, yeah. too. But is was there anything you guys wanted to add to the car that you couldn't do to something? Like, you know, a lot of customers like vertical doors um, I have a chrome Corvette outside that has vertical doors on that part in the front that they wanted in the front um, due to that reason in my chrome wrap but I don't know if that, was there something you guys wanted it was like no we can't add that Like, so I'd say that it depends what you optimize around and when we decided to optimize around uh, attainability and customers that we currently have and then still draw in new customers. New customers. If you if you use that as your optimization, this is the recipe. Okay. And we think we nailed it. Okay. Um, if you were to change it to something more lower volume with, uh, you know, chasing a specific exotic, it might lead you down the path of something else. But, okay. Um, this car is set up for us to have a long life and, okay. and do really well for us. So, awesome, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. I appreciate it. He nailed it. He answered a lot of good questions. He didn't hesitate on anything, so he definitely obviously worked with Jeter on this project here. <laughs> you can see I'm laughing. Like. <laughs> so, um, yeah, man, it's a phenomenal car. And, you know, I got invited out Chevrolet personally to come out here. And, um, you know, I'm super stoked about it. And this is a phenomenal car. You know, a lot of people question the wing, the spoil on the back. I will tell you, it looks better in person. And, um, you know, when you get your own, you'll see for yourself. Um, or you can go with a Stingray and probably just don't get the wing. Whatever suits your, your comfort. But I, I don't think I would bet about this without a wing. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So I'm going to turn the camera off really quickly and go ahead and get some photos of this bad boy so I can make an awesome video. Also, one big thing I want all of y'all to do. At the end of this video, you will see all the colors of the C8 Minutes and Corvette. You will see the colors of the calibers as well. What I want you to do is go online, go to Chevrolet, build your C8 Minutes and Corvette, and email me your photos so I can place them in my next C8 Minutes and Corvette video.